logic behind um, changing the order with um, Alex Carey coming in? Uh, yeah, it was yeah clearly difficult for both sides. I think the power play, you know, high scoring, the ball was skidding on, and outside the first six, six the, the wicket started to slow up. Um, Alex Carey, um, the way we've geared up, we've geared up with a flexible batting lineup, um, and he's a very good player of spin. Um, so it was seen that Shamsy was, you know, in some way controlling the tempo of the game through the middle overs there. So that move was made. Um, you know, the move only happens when you lose a wicket. So uh, he went in, and, and and that was the view that he was the best player of spin in the middle overs to, to do that. Yeah, I think that you know exposure to those situations more often obviously grows experience, and with experience comes the ability to to obviously execute. And today we didn't quite get that right. And um, I don't think we're you know exposure is probably not the right word. I think that the T20 games generally go. Um, with the flow of losing wickets and your middle order does have some work to do. We saw um, at the Wanderers a couple of days ago that they had some work to do and they were able to do that batting first, clearly batting second on a tiring surface is a totally different situation. So they'll be no doubt better for that experience and you know, as we grow and build towards the T20 World Cup. Take, take the Yeah, I think the game gets better every day is my thoughts and as we saw out there, fielding become a spectacle and it was fantastic. Um, you know, Steve Smith, Faf, um, you know, some, some of the cutting of angles, the speed, the athleticism of the modern day player is, is outstanding and, and they never cease to amaze and um, as you saw today, they, they put a, a real show on and um, I think it cancelled each other out. I think both sides were exceptional at it so that's one thing that we're priding ourselves on is our fielding unit. Um, I'm pretty sure South Africa will be. and. I think most times, you know, tournaments can be decided by, um, you know, fielding, and fielding can define, define seasons. And um, that was a, a clear evidence that the fielding these days has improved a hell of a lot. Um, so you back in um, at play at, at four in that position where you sort of had, had the shield and that. Um, it's obviously that higher up field for six um, six months. So um, do, you, do you sort of stick with that and back them into just? There's always two sides to any move you make, isn't it? It's like if you're bringing on a bowler in the fifth or sixth over, there's some options out there. And it was clear that we, you know, we'd planned and prepared for that, that, that Alex was a good player of spin in the middle. Um, and we felt that was the right move at the right time. And Justin and Aaron pulled that move. And you know, hindsight will tell you whether it was right or wrong. And you know, Wade is quite flexible as well. Um, we've seen throughout his career that he's batted anywhere between one and seven. So um, we feel as though he had the flexibility to, to finish off the innings with Mitch Marsh. And, and that's the way we went today. Yeah, he's growing. Um, it was a surface that probably suited the way that he bowls. Um, he's got a lot of tricks and variation, variations, and, and that wicket sort of lent itself to, to a lot of slow, slow balls. And I think South Africa probably learned on what we did in the first innings, um, and they were able to adapt to the conditions as well. But um, he was outstanding. His execution over a period of time now has been fantastic. And as I said, he's growing. But and that's not to uh, take anything away from the rest of the bowls. I thought Ashton Agar again today was, was really good in his length control. Pat Cummins, um, you've seen a few new slow balls that he's... Um, you know, wheeling out these days as well. So I think as a bowling unit, I think it was, it was a pretty fair effort. And unfortunately, we weren't able to get over the line deep in the game. Just on the, the batting, batting order, is it a case in the run chase where you have Kerry, Wade, Marsh, they're all paid up and you've got to be ready to go and drop the wicket? Is that something that, that this team wants to, that flexibility that they want to yeah, no doubt. I think we've seen back in the Australian summer too, I wasn't around, but you saw Steve Smith move down the order as well uh, after a good start with Glenn Maxwell being promoted. So uh, Justin wants the players to be flexible. Uh, we're training them to be flexible. And, and most of the time, these guys are batted in all different situations and, and positions in the order over a period of time. So we feel as though we've got that flexibility. Probably the, the two that are locked in are you know, Finch and Warner at the top. And I dare say that you know, Steve Smith will be unlikely to move at any time, but we will be flexible between four, five and six. And uh, I don't think that'll be any different in Cape Town, depending on the situation. Yeah, as I said, they're taking the game in a new direction every day, and the game improves in, in my view every day, and and that's what we saw out there. They do practice it, and they put themselves in those scenarios of training, and, and there's you know it's no fluke that they're able to execute that out on the main stage. Yeah, can you sort of pinpoint when that sort of started being something that was focused on? 
when they brought a rope in. So, so I think that's what, that was probably the evolution, wasn't it? When the, when the boundary line became a rope, uh, it cleared off the fence, and you know, I suppose the slide started to come into it. Um, you know, I think once upon a time, you're actually able to start outside the boundary and run and leap, and then they've changed that rule uh, over time. Um, so it's always been something there. These guys have got creative minds, and as we've seen, like they've, they've added different shots in um, over time, and, and fielding's no different. Just that one is Not really. I, I think, you know, from what I've seen on the inside of the camp, he's been really consistent in his preparation, consistent with the way he's going about things, and he's a, he's a competitor, and I think every game of cricket means something to him, and uh, he was out there in the contest, he's disappointed as he sits in the change room, you know, he feels as though that, you know, potentially he could have got us over the line, and, and that's the sort of player he is, so I don't think there's any extra motivation when he comes to South Africa or against any specific opponent, I think he's motivated no matter what the, the scenario or the opposition may be. Oh, I'm not sure. I, I haven't spoken to them yet about facing Shamsi, but I, I think you know just from the short sort of period after the game and assessing it, the, the, the wicket was slowing up. Um, it was a, it was a favourable wicket for spin. He bowled four overs to 17 runs and controlled the tempo. The good part was that he didn't, you know, was unable to get some wickets, but uh, he bowled extremely well. But I think we got the game into a situation that even though he had the four overs to 17s at 17, that we potentially could have won it. Um, we've you know, we're sitting back in now, I think the players will feel it's a missed opportunity to win a series um, away from home, which is always a, a huge accomplishment. So um, now we've got our work cut out, short turnaround to Cape Town and uh, prepare as best we can to, to, you know, to perform well there. Just the um, ball towards the end of the game, the replay showed that it wasn't over, it wasn't over step and you know, potentially that could have been a match change decision of obviously bringing in the technology to the World Cups. Is that something that you think should be done in all international cricket? Yeah, um, in short, yes. Um, I don't know the costs or what that looks like in terms of the infrastructure around that, but yeah, it was could have been a match-defining um, decision slightly over. Um, yeah, you don't want to sort of talk about those those things, but there's definitely technology there. Um, I think they're using are they using it in the Women's World Cup at the moment. Uh, I think the IPL is going to introduce it, so we'll see that over time. The umpires have got a tough job out there, and yeah, it was a fine margin. Um, he saw what he saw at the time and, and called it as he saw it, and that's all you can expect from expect from from an umpire.